2023. The Honourable Member for Calgary Forest Lawn. Mr. Speaker, last week, former Bank of Canada Governor and potential Liberal leadership candidate Mark Carney told a Senate committee that rising cost of living and inflation are domestic stories. Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklin has said inflation is homegrown, even noting that the carbon tax contributes to inflation. Yet, as winter approaches, this costly coalition isn't doing anything to make Canadians' lives and home heating affordable. Will the Liberals provide Canadians relief by removing home heating from the carbon tax? The Honourable Minister of Tourism. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank my Honourable colleague for his new role, and he speaks, as do the Conservatives, about the need to make life more affordable for Canadians. Well, Mr. Speaker, they have the opportunity to do just that this week. They can vote and support half a million kids with dental supports. They can support low-income renters with $500 for housing supports. They can do the right thing and vote for C31 this week. The question is, Mr. Speaker, will they or won't they? The Honourable Member for Calgary Forest Lawn. Well, soon enough, when Conservatives are on that side, Liberals can ask us the questions. But home heating in Canada is essential. But thanks to Liberal inflation and blocked energy projects in Canada, natural gas is up 37%, and other fuel oils are up 48.7%. Liberal inflation will also see Canadians lose up to $3,000 in purchasing power next year. Now is not the time for more taxes. Will this costly coalition give Canadians a break and exempt home heating from their job-killing carbon tax? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Speaker, certainly we recognize that affordability is a very important issue for Canadians. It is why 80% of Canadian households get more and back in a rebate on the price on pollution than they actually pay. It's also why we're investing $250 million to help make home heating more affordable for families across the country by helping them to move to more affordable and greener home heating sources. So you see, Mr. Speaker, you can fight climate change and address affordability.